Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect Part 3. Um, we're really getting into this. This is insane. Ryder, good to see you on your feet. We're at the Nexus. It's the forward hub for the entire Andromeda Initiative. The Asari, Solarian, and Turian Arcs should be there, too. Let's hope they've had better luck. Starting our approach now. It's almost as big as the Citadel back home. Nexus Control, this is Arc Hyperion, requesting docking clearance. Captain, I'm only getting their automated approach channel. Not a live person. Well, like it or not, we're here. Take us in. Construction should have been finished by now. Could be worse. How? Habitat 7's a bust. We might have started a war with the first aliens we met, and our Pathfinder's dead. This better be rock bottom. Green across the board. Docking initiated. All right. I got us here. Good luck, Pathfinder. You gonna be okay, Ryder? The captain just called me Pathfinder. Attention this is really happening. Just take a deep breath. I still can't believe Dad's dead. This should have been his moment. But now it's yours. You just need to decide what you're gonna do with it. Where do I start? I'm just not sure I'm ready. We weren't ready to fall out of guy on Habitat 7. But we survived that. It's true. Right. So, always keep a jump jet handy. Let's go. I'm gonna use this team. Yep. Until, yep. I'm moving. Got it on the tram. It'll be nice to see some friendly faces this time. The Nexus runs a support crew. Just enough to finish building the station and provide safe harbor for the Arcs. Means we can start waking our people up. They built a bar, right? Gotta have champagne for the welcome party. You're expecting one? After what we've been through, I could use a buzz. We all could. Yeah. Rough ride so far. We'll bounce back. Real food and a shower are just ahead. Oh, that's good to hear. Because you smell. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She does not smell. She's fine. Here we are. Okay, let's see what we got. Uh, I don't see any champagne. Where is everybody? Um. Hello? Avina! Welcome to the Nexus, gateway to Andromeda. I'm Avina, a virtual intelligence designed to assist you with immigration. Uh, can you tell us where the welcome party is hiding? I'm sorry. My code is limited to information and simple interaction simulation. Please select from the following pre-programmed responses. Okay, um, I want to know about what this is. What is the Nexus? The Nexus serves as the central hub for the Andromeda Initiative's colonization efforts. It is the first destination for all colonists upon their arrival in the new galaxy. Please enjoy the many venues the Nexus has to offer. As the station expands, it will one day serve as the seat of government for Milky Way colonists. Providing a safe, stable, and prosperous environment is our primary goal. Not from the looks of it. <laughs> um, yeah. What can you tell me about the Andromeda Galaxy? Here in Andromeda, you are over two million light years away from the Milky Way Galaxy. Oh, wow. This is the furthest any life form has ever traveled outside our home system, making you a brave pioneer indeed. The Nexus itself is located in a region known as the Helios Cluster. Here, you and thousands of your fellow colonists will fulfill your dreams of settling a new home. Fortune awaits. Okay, well... How does the immigration process work? We ask that you submit to a brief medical exam to ensure your health and well-being after making such a long journey. Once you've been cleared, our colonization experts will assist you in finding your new home. Please be mindful of the queue. Thousands of eager colonists like you 
are waiting to begin their new life in Andromeda. Uh, where? Place is deserted. That's what I want to know. What year is it? The current year is 2819. After spending over 600 years in stasis, it's normal to feel disoriented or confused upon arrival. Our helpful medical staff can assist with any physical or psychological after effects <laughs> you may be experiencing. What staff? Well, she's got the date right, at least. So where is everyone? Where do colonists live? Once you've cleared immigration, our helpful staff will assist you in choosing the home world of your dreams. Will it be the tropical paradise of Habitat 7? The gentle rolling hills of Habitat 3? Or perhaps the mysterious twilight world of Habitat 5? Whichever you choose, rest assured our Pathfinders have carefully vetted all colony worlds to ensure your security and prosperity. Oh boy. Habitat 7? That's where we landed. She's way out of date. That's all. It has been my pleasure. Please see one of our helpful immigration staff for further assistance. And welcome to your new home in Andromeda, where the brightest star is you. Current wait time for immigration processing is... Unknown error. Right. That was helpful. Very. Thanks, Savina. You're very cute. I liked you better on the Citadel. Just saying. Plants are still alive. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. I'm getting close to my destination. It's like they didn't finish building it. Oh. Hi there. We're from Ark Hyperion, and wondering where everybody went. Did he hear you? Did you say an Ark? Yeah, we just got in. And for what it's worth, your VI over there could use an update. But we thought you were all dead. What? Or captured, or lost in dark space, or... But you're here. You have no idea how much this means. I don't believe it. Oh, a Turian! I'm Tyrion Kandros. I lead our militia on the Nexus. I'm Ryder. This is Cora Harper and Liam Costa, part of the Pathfinder team. I'm sorry for the confusion. Our sensors told us an arc had arrived, but Helios is notorious for scrambling equipment. We thought you were just another malfunction. Why is that? But aren't you expecting us? You're the first arc we've seen. After a year of waiting and no sign of the others, we shuttered this area and stopped looking. You've been stranded for a whole year? Longer. I'll fill you in on the way to Op Center. Everything that could go wrong with our plan has. We arrived 14 months ago. Right away, we hit a band of dark energy that knocked us off course. We're familiar with it. Then you'll know why we call it the Scourge. We lost whole sections of the station. A lot of people died. No power, no food. The chaos went on for months. It finally led to armed rebellion. When order was restored, the insurgents were banished. Exiles, we called them. Are things back to normal? Not even close. But you're here now, so maybe the worst is over. No word from the other Pathfinders? No word from anyone, period. Any threats from the locals? So far, we've stayed hidden. We're in no shape to deal with an attack. We had a first contact situation on Habitat 7. Whole thing went south. They tried to kill us. That wasn't first contact. We know about them. We're here. You guys go ahead. I'll check out the security situation. You should know our command structure has been fractured. Some of us are filling in for leaders who died. Is it true? They said drop everything and report for duty. And no one was expecting an ARC to finally show up. Docking procedures are green across the board. Stand by to merge Hyperion power into the grid. The crew of the Hyperion. Good luck. Thanks. I'm Jaron Tan, director of the initiative. You have no idea how much your arrival means to us. We're here to help. We've heard about what happened, and we're ready to help. We could use any supplies you have. Food, water, we're short on everything. This is Foster Addison. She oversees colonial affairs. Where's the Pathfinder? You're looking at him. 
Hi. You're not Alec Ryder. My father's dead. He made me his successor. Alec is dead. Please understand, the entire initiative is at risk. None of the Golden Worlds panned out. They're a bust, and there's been no word from the other Arcs. What happened to them? Unknown. Our supplies are nearly depleted. Rationing bought us some time, but even that's running out. We need to find more resources. But that takes people, and we can't wake them up. Until they have somewhere to live. A Golden World. Now more than ever, we need a Pathfinder. It now falls to you, Ryder. Are you up to the task? Well, um, I am. I may not have been the first choice, but I'm ready for this. Youthful enthusiasm will only get you so far in Andromeda. That's no way to treat a guest. Damn straight. Hello, I just lost my dad. I'm Nakmore Kesh, superintendent of this station. I hope they haven't scared you off already. It's nothing personal, but now isn't the time for on-the-job training. At least the Pathfinder here seems willing to try. We could use a fresh perspective. You've heard my concerns. I'll leave you to it. We're all feeling the pressure. Let's have a private word in my office, Ryder. We'll discuss giving you a scout ship. Thanks. I'm happy to work out the details with your associate. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Nexus. Thanks for helping. Thank you for standing up for me there. Mm -hmm. Hopes in short supply here. What little we can find should have a chance. Ma'am, the Hyperion's core is now online. Let me show you something. An hour ago, that was all dark. But with the power from your ship, you're keeping the lights on. You have my vote. And when the power runs out? You'd best go talk to Director Tan. Make sure that doesn't happen. And don't be shy. Come see me when you have a chance. Okay. Hello, console. You and I are going to be very good friends. Oh, yeah? We'll get you all fixed up and ready to go in no time. As soon as we hook you up to all that juicy, juicy power. <laughs> juicy, juicy power. Um, okay, so I have to go speak to Tan, right? So let me go follow the little dot. Go follow the dot. Follow the dot. Oh, yeah, it helps if I actually open the door. This is the planet where we landed. Habitat 7. It wasn't even close to livable. That's been true of every world we've found. Ryder, we were discussing your next expedition. I thought it didn't measure up as Pathfinder. Director Addison keeps her own counsel. I keep mine. And when you disagree? I oversee the entire initiative, and I have decided to give you a chance to prove yourself. To that end, the score is dealt as a serious blow. Whatever it is, our scientists theorize it's not natural. An artificial energy cloud? It wasn't here when we left the Milky Way, yet it rendered all the Golden Worlds unlivable. Then there's the aliens you ran into, the Ket. They're obsessed with alien structures we found scattered around the cluster. They'll do anything to prevent others from accessing them. It seems murder isn't exclusive to the Milky Way. And now the challenge is to settle a world in spite of all that. This one here, Eos. Oh. You need to increase the viability of the planet so we can establish an outpost. Then we can bring more colonists out of stasis. The more colonists we have, the more resources we can gather to support the Nexus. Everything depends on it. There are six worlds we hope to settle. Okay, but you said every planet you found is unlivable. So how do I... A good Pathfinder would relish the challenge of solving it. Right. I think I should go check on things. And if I fail, I guess it's no sweat off your back, right? You'll just look for another Pathfinder? Placing bets on people is part of my job. Some of them pay off. Others... Just point me to my ship and I'll be out of here. They're prepping it now in the docking bay. The coordinates for EOS will be in the computer. And when you have a moment, we should discuss the missing arcs. I was wondering about that... Ah. 
something wrong. Ryder, please see me and Sam Nood on the Hyperion. Your implant needs attention, and we need to discuss a confidential matter. No, I'm fine. Oh, I got a little headache there. Okay, so let's go. So now I need to go. Wait, where am I going? I need to go to the Hyperion. Oh, an information wall. Oh, so that guy like almost electrocuted himself. Dude, take it easy. Speak with Sam on the Hyperion. Okay. I love that we have these little dots to tell me where to go because I need that, you know? Like, I really do. I'm not the brightest when it comes to like navigating around this world, you know? What in the world? Or a space station, apparently. All right, I'm speaking to Sam. Okay, Sam is this this way? Yes, he is this way. Brilliant. Hi, everybody. Bye, everybody. All right, where is he? Oh, he's over here now. Okay. Okay. Hello, Sam. Hello, Ryder. Welcome back to Sam Nude. I've adjusted my connection to your implant. The headache you experienced before shouldn't reoccur. Yeah, what was that about? You said we need to discuss something confidential. You should know certain facts before you leave on your expedition. It seemed best we speak alone. This is the captain. I don't understand the need for secrecy. Your father felt it was for the best. What was he trying to hide? My true capabilities. Alec overrode the implant safety protocols. It allows me unrestricted access to the Pathfinder's physiology. And that's me now. And only you. I can act as a force multiplier, dramatically enhancing your motor and neural skills when required. Alec called them profiles. They provide unique tactical augmentation during combat. Your father preferred to keep this fact to himself. But why the secrecy? Keeping things like this secret just makes everyone suspicious. Like you're up to something. Alec didn't think others would understand. He viewed it as a symbiotic relationship benefiting us both. What do you get out of this? Though I'm artificial in design, I am fully sentient. Far beyond what even the initiative understands. I don't follow. You're an AI. So what's different? I am a new form of AI drawing directly from the human experience. Your implant is my window into the world. Uh, wow. That's pretty amazing. But beyond what many people will accept, your father knew some would fear it. Yeah, he's got a point. So what does this mean for the two of us? I find myself in an unusual position. Though I had access to your father's experiences, there is a gap in my understanding. How so? He placed a block on portions of my memory array. Why? Perhaps so when you asked me what his plan was, I wouldn't know. <sighs> And Dad strikes again. But not without recourse. The further you explore as a Pathfinder, the more blocks will be removed. Perhaps you should begin in your father's quarters. In the meantime, unless you have more questions, your new ship awaits. Thanks. Okay. Um, well, I'm gonna I'm an adept. Okay, select profile. Back. Okay, let's leave. Okay. What's this? On my arm. Oh, cool. All right, let's go over here. I think this is my father's quarters. Yeah. So I guess this is my quarters now. Printed books. Reproductions of Lewis and Clark's journals, detailing their expedition in the 19th century. Explains dad's interest. They were pathfinders too. Oh, uh, sidearms. Your father's first sidearm, a memento of his early alliance service. <gasps> Normandy. I bet that saw plenty of action. Alex's first kill occurred in combat during the First Contact War. Back when Turians were the enemy. Crazy times. Oh, what's the... Wait, wait, how did I put it back? Aw, oh, crap. I just picked it up, and I, I just want to put it back. I wanted to display it. No, you... Oh, my God. Okay, whatever. What's this? Sam? What was that? An eidetic trigger. Related to your father, and the portions of my memory array he locked. What triggered it? Alec tied it to your progression as Pathfinder, not to a location. Puzzling as it may be, my programming is clear. Locating more of these triggers will unlock the memories. One of your father's memories is now accessible. Return to Samnode on the Hyperion to investigate further. Okay. Um, I need to um, put my thing back. 
Uh, research resources. No, I just want to put a bug. <gasps> I want my damn thing. Okay, I am so PO'd. I'm PO'd. Okay. All right, whatever. I don't know what that is. I don't want it. Coffee? I'll get some coffee. Just quick coffee cup. Oh. <laughs> the coffee machine mom got for dad. He was so busy designing you, needed the caffeine. I did not realize I owed my existence to a bean. And now you know what humility feels like. All right, let's go check out this memory. Memories. Ryder, the blocks your father placed on my array are opening. I can now recall specific memories, which Alec wanted you to see. Wait, I can actually see his memories? Yes, you will experience them via your implant. Okay, something new every day. Let's see it. This memory is from the time when your father was posted on the Citadel. Alec, your recommendations will never fly. Artificial intelligence? It's our best option. If the Council gets wind of this, it'll set humanity standing back decades. You're overreaching. Ambassador Goyle, I'm the military attaché on the Citadel. My mandate is clear. Find an edge for Earth. And AI is your answer? We need to catch up. The Asari, the Salarians, they're centuries ahead of us. But it's illegal. Their rules, not ours. Why deny Earth an advantage? Define this advantage. It will set us free. We're prisoners of our own five senses. There's a reality greater than ours that we can't perceive, but an AI can. How? By augmenting our own abilities and adding a few new ones. Well, none of that stopped those Geth from revolting. Because they were separate from their creators. But AIs and humans interface directly, experiencing the world together, benefits both. There's no creator to revolt against. I'm sorry, Alec. We can't take the risk. I appreciate your work, but your request will be denied. You must have done it anyway, because Sam ah. exists. Alec? Alec. What did the doctor say? He told me to appreciate the time I have left. There's no cure, Alec. It's terminal. Not on my watch. Wow. Hearing Mom again. I never knew that's how Dad found out. Alec was a stubborn man. It's how Dad was wired. He didn't like to lose, in any situation. It would seem that included me. Nobody wanted to listen. The idea of you scared people too much. After this, Dad moved us back to Earth to care for Mom. Wonder why he wanted me to see this. Perhaps it was the beginning. Of what? Unknown. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. All right, bye. That's all for now. Of course. I'll talk to you more later. I want to do some more stuff. Okay, so let's go. I think we should just hit the road, right? Like, let's get on this ship. Let's get our stuff and be like, boom, bye. You know? Look how fast I run. I love it. And he doesn't get out of breath anymore. Oh, so great. Okay, hold on. where are we going? Docking bay? Yeah. Let's go to the docking bay. Ready to see what Tan gave us? I hear it's something special. Pathfinder en route. How's the ship? And final checks looking great. We won't be long. The way things are going, we'll be on our own out there. In other words, we're making this up as we go. <laughs> we used to call that tactical improvisation. But at least we'll be doing it in style. Ooh. They call her the Tempest. She's a very pretty ship. 
I still prefer the Normandy. Let's go take a closer look. Let's pick it up a bit, people. We're 14 months late. So you're the one who's making everything happen. Vetra. Vetra Nix. Initiative Wrangler, Provisioner, Gunner, and everything in between. Oh my god, I love her. Are we ready? The sooner we get out of here, the better. You're coming with us? Yes. Yes. Otherwise, there's no way they're letting this ship off the station. Um, well, let's get out of here. Yeah. Let's go see the rest of Helios. Hold it, hold it. You're not going anywhere. Damn it. Is something wrong? Director Addison wants to see a complete report of the Tempest supplies, munitions, and crew. Director Tan overruled Addison. The ship's loaded out with equipment for outpost discovery, squarely under Director Addison's purview. Seen you around. Ben, right? Came here with the family, didn't you? Son still in cryo? I could pull some strings, get him to the front of the line. Really? Yeah, really. They told me he wasn't essential, but I miss him. I know. I got family too, Ben. It's done. Addison's gonna kill me. Nicely done. Part of the job, Pathfinder. All things considered, it was an easy ask. And right now, you need people tearing down obstacles, not putting up more. Damn straight. Oh my gosh, I love her even more. She's awesome. Finally, someone who cares about doing stuff and not just talking about it. Damn straight. Damn straight, Cora. Everything's state of the art. Labs, sensors, exploration gear. Lesser crew, of course. The best in their field. Ah, glad to see you looking well. Aw. Thanks. The engine core is based on the Ark's Odyssey drive. It runs a hell of a lot quieter. That's Gil Brody. Engineer, mechanic, all around wrench jockey. We call this the research room. There's space for upgrading equipment, gathering intel. Router engaged. Securing connection to Tempest. Welcome aboard, Sam. And Ryder, of course. All run by Suvi Anwar, our science officer. Your quarters are below. Plenty of space up here to get everyone together. It's all yours. She's light, stealthy, and the fastest ship in her class. <sighs> it's really gonna be something, isn't it? I haven't even shown you the best part. When you're ready to fly, head over to the bridge. Our pilot should have everything good to go. Oh my gosh, this is so Better exciting. To ready to go. Well, I am going to end part three right here. And in the next part, we are going to go to the bridge and set up on our first mission. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next part. Bye for now.